Hello everybody, welcome back to Growing in the Cove. My name is Stacy, and I garden in Zone 5B, Newfoundland. So today I thought I would bring you with me to harvest my garlic. To be honest, my garlic has actually been ready for close to a week now, but I haven't had time to film, so I really wanted to hold off so you could see um, the fruits of my labor with me. So I'll give you a look at how I know it's time for the garlic to be harvested and let's see how productive my patch was this year. As you can see, my garlic is looking pretty tired at this point in the season. I did forget to cut one scape, <laughs> um, but I'll show you how I know that it's time for them to be harvested. So if you look down at a stalk, you can see, it can be really hard to see this, but I wait until at least three leaves have fully died and the fourth is on the way out. So you actually can only see the remnants of this one down here. So it's one leaf, two leaf, three leaf, and then we have four. So again, sometimes you can't even see the bottom leaf because it's already degraded, but we have one, two, three, and the fourth one is dying. So these are definitely ready. And the further along these are, the harder it can be to count the leaves, but at that point, you're usually pretty good. So again, we have one leaf, two leaf, three leaf, or actually, no, I don't know. I can't even tell on this one because most of them have rotted away. Over here, you can tell there was one leaf, two leaf, three leaf, four. So they are ready. I'm going to get my pitchfork and fork some of these up and let's see how the bulbs are looking. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see this in the camera, but this is just a tester of some of the ones I just dug up and they are amazing. I think this is some of the largest garlic I've grown. So right now, they look large, but once they actually dry, um, they're gonna look even bigger in, in my experience. Once they dehydrate and the moisture goes out of the bulb, you can see exactly how big your cloves are. So these are looking fantastic. I'm going to keep going and let's see how I do. Every year when I film or put garlic content on my social media, I always get the question of, do I have to harvest the garlic scapes? Because in July, I always do a video or something showing how I cut my garlic scapes. And I know a lot of people that are new to growing might feel a little bit nervous about it or what if I mess it up? Will it mess up my garlic? Well, I wanna show you what happens if you don't cut your garlic scapes. So this garlic did not have the scape cut off. So instead of putting all of its energy into the bulb, it has put energy into making seeds. This one had the scape cut off in July. So this is what a normal bulb of garlic should look like. And this is what my clove without the scape harvested looks like. There's almost nothing to it. So the proof is in the pudding, as they say here in Newfoundland. You definitely have to cut your scapes or you're not gonna get a very bountiful harvest. So it's cool uh, to actually be able to see the difference between the two. So here is my garlic harvest for 2024. I had some incredible bulbs here. Um, every year I get my garlic from Vessies. I get the porcelain music variety and it is the best. It grows enormous garlic and I have another order uh, ready for the fall. So this is Wow, quite a harvest. I grew three pounds of garlic and this is what I got out of it, which will probably be enough 
to last us until next year's garlic harvest. We do cook a lot in my house and we use a lot of garlic and fresh garlic is the best. So for reference, it looked a lot smaller on the ground, but this is what, oh, it's so heavy. Three pounds of garlic cloves planted in my garden produced. I am so excited for this. I just love homegrown garlic. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put these in my shed. To be honest, I'm a little bit lazy and I will lay them across the length of my canoe so the bulb is sticking off the canoe and not actually having any contact with um, any surfaces. Um, you could put these on chicken wire to cure or you could literally just do hang bunches in a cool dry location like a basement or a shed you could tie bunches together and hang them i don't clean the dirt off of these at this point um, once i hang them to dry i wait about two to three weeks until it's completely dry and crispy and at that point i will cut off the stalks I'll cut off the roots and I'll clean off any dirt, which when they are dry is really easy to do because usually the outer wrapper will just come right off. So this is as much as I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna go put these in my shed and in a few weeks I will clean these up and I'll bring them inside to last us the rest of the year. Um, in the past, I have stored my garlic once they're cured in a cardboard box in my basement. Um, and I also have a really big mesh bag that I keep in the fridge and I fill it up with garlic bulbs and I almost never have them going bad or sprouting. They last for months that way. So if you have a small amount of garlic, that's an easy way just to store them in the fridge. So very pleased with this. And of course, one thing goes out, the next thing goes in. I've got all of these fall transplants um, for vegetables ready to plant in my garden. I started these at the beginning of July and they are begging to be planted in the garden. So this is a great way to use your space because we still have a long growing season left, probably till the end of September at least. So it's a great opportunity to plug something else into the space where my garlic was. I have some bok choy, I've got some cabbages, I've got, now, I'm not very successful with broccoli and I have yet to harvest any broccoli out of my garden, but I do have some more broccoli starts. I've got lettuces, I've got mizuna, which is looking great. I've got some purple mustard, I've got lettuce galore. So I am now going to transplant some of these things in and start to transition to my fall garden. So thank you so much for watching with me today and uh, checking out my garlic harvest. I hope that your garden is being productive. Um, like any year, we all have our successes and our failures. So if your garden is not performing as you expected, we all experience that. And even the longer I am at this, the more I realize that I'm really not that in control and sometimes you gotta roll with the punches. And one thing that I've really appreciated of a lot of other YouTubers on um, that garden is that there's been a lot of honesty this year about how things are going and you know, I, I really appreciate that and I try to be as real as possible. And I can guarantee you that at least 50% of these are going to be destroyed by slugs. I'm preparing for it now. That's why I planted so many. So I hope whatever you're doing today that you are well and you're happy. Thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to support my channel, you can click the like button. You can hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified when I put out new videos. And um, thanks so much for watching. Take care.